and set go. Oh. Oh God. I can't watch this. That's so unpleasant. I no stop. Oh, oh, God. It's not even, like, gross, but just, like, the the thought of, like, eating more or less fabric and trying to, like, swallow that is so unpleasant. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. You done? Oh. Great. Three liquor bottle slam. No, that's just food. I'm not interested. Wait, where's the one where he's the Joker? I don't remember where I came across this, but I never forgot it. me. I, face paint really weirds me out in ways I can't explain. <laughs> Eating a New York City block of toilet paper in Times Square. But this is just hit you. Oh. Oh, he's eating poppets. I did see the Danganronpa steamed hams. Did that get more views recently? Because I thought it was very funny. Oh, that's about the same. Wait, did somebody make a new one? Oh, sick! Oh my god! That's way better! Good. Uh, oh, that is smoke. It's steam. Steam from the steam clams we're having. Mm, steam clams. Oh wow. That's really good. I always thought the other Dong and Rampa one could have been done better. I'm glad they did. Steam from the steam clams we're having. Steam clams. No, no, I said steam ham. <laughs> That's what I call hamburger. <laughs> you call hamburger steamed ham? Yes, it's a regional dialect. Ah, uh, uh, what region? Uh, upstate New York. Really? Well, I'm from Utica, and I've never heard anyone use the phrase steam. No, that's wrong. <laughs> Oh, not in Utica. No, it's an Albany expression. I see. The Ace and Turn. Yeah, I saw that one. Similar to the ones they have at Krusty Burger. <laughs> oh, no. Patented Skinner Burgers. Old family recipe. For steamed hams. Yes. Yes, and you call them steamed hams despite the fact they are obvious to grill. Yeah, you know, one thing I... Excuse me for one second. I'm going. Uh, I feel like they should have done something there. Oh, well, that was wonderful. Good time was had by all. I'm pooped. Yes, I should be. Good lord, what is happening in there? Aurora Borealis. Seymour! <laughs> <laughs> Aurora Borealis. At this time of year, at this time of year, in this part of the country, 
No. <laughs> oh my god. That's so good. Borealis. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I gotta gotta send this to somebody. Oh god, that's so good. I sent him like, oh, okay. Well, Seymour, I made it, despite their directions. Ah, Superintendent Chalmers, welcome. I hope you're prepared for an unforgettable luncheon. Yeah. I thought the Ace Attorney one was good, but I thought some of the wordiness was... Some of the writing should have been tightened up. Like, I, I really don't like this line. I don't know why, but it sticks out as just not good. Also... The bit where he says in like three sentences over and over, like, I should stop being a jerk with him. I thought it was sort of sloppy. Other than that, it's really good. No. No, it, it had a lot of effort into it. Uh, all the different things. All the screen flashes. The examining thing. Oh man, I want to see the Danganronpa one again, actually. I need this. Well, Seymour, I made it, despite your directions. Ah, Superintendent Chalmers, welcome. I hope you're prepared for an unforgettable luncheon. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you gods! I will be ruined! What if I would have purchased fast food? Gonna run it into the ground. It is my own cooking. <laughs> Delightfully devilish, Seymour. <laughs> Superintendent, I was just, uh, just stretching my calves on the windowsill. Isometric exercise. Here to join me. Why is there smoke coming out of your eyes? No, that's wrong. <laughs> I didn't hear her say that the first time. Oh, when he said no, that's steam, wrong. Steam from the steam that's so right. good. Mm, steam clams. Johnny, you're right on time. Superintendent, I hope you're ready for mouth-watering hamburgers. I already I watched this, but it's so clams. good. Oh, that isn't smoke. It's steam. Steam from the steamed clams we're having. Mm, steam clams. No, no, I said steamed hams. That's what I call hamburgers. You call hamburgers steamed ham? Yes, it's a regional dialect. Ah, uh, what region? Uh, upstate New York. Really? Well, I'm from Utica, and I've never heard anyone use the phrase steamed. No, <laughs> that's wrong. Oh, not in Utica. No, it's, it's an all perfect. Nice. 
You know, these hamburgers are quite similar to the ones they have at Krusty Burger. <laughs> oh, no. Patented Skinner Burgers. Old just family like the recipe. Awful cropping on Seymour's face. Hams. On the yeah. side. Yes, and you call them steamed hams, despite the fact they are obviously grilled. Yeah, you know, one thing I... Excuse me for one second. I'm going. Oh, well, that was wonderful. Good time was had by all. I'm pooped. Yes, I should be. Good Lord, what is happening in there? Aurora Borealis. Seymour! <laughs> <laughs> That's still really good. At this time of year, at this time of day, in this part of the country, localized entirely within your kitchen. Yes. <laughs> May I see it? No. God. <laughs> Thank you for showing that to me. Well, Seymour, I made it, despite your directions. Ah, Superintendent Chalmers, welcome. I hope you're prepared for an unforgettable luncheon. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you guys! <laughs> <laughs> what, what if... <laughs> it's not even funny, but it's just the little things. Delightfully devilish, Seymour. I haven't played near yet. Superintendent, I was just, uh, just I wouldn't trying to get it. calves on the windowsill. Isometric exercise. Care to join me? Why is there smoke coming out of your oven, Seymour? Uh, oh, that isn't smoke. It's steam. Steam from the steamed clams we're having. Mmm, steamed clams. I love how they changed the color of the fire. Superintendent, I hope you're ready for mouth-watering so hamburgers. clever. I thought we were having steamed clams. No, no, I said steamed hams. That's what I call hamburgers. You call hamburgers steamed hams? Yes. It's a regional dialect. Uh huh. Uh, what region? Uh, upstate New York. Really? Well, I'm from Utica, and I've never heard anyone use the phrase steamed hams. Oh, not in Utica. No, it's an Albany expression. I see. <laughs> you know, these hamburgers are quite. Oh, yeah, the glasses of water. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> oh, no. Thank you. It's Skinner Burgers. Old family recipe. For steamed hams. Yes. Yes, and you call them steamed hams despite the fact they are obviously grilled. Y uh, you know, the one thing I. Sh Excuse me for one second. Of course. Oh, well, that was wonderful. Good time was had by all. I'm pooped. Yes, I should be. Jumping, Jesus, what is happening in there? <laughs> Aurora Borealis? Uh, Aurora Borealis? At this time uh, of year, at this time of day, in this part of the country, localized entirely within your kitchen. Yes. May I see it? I hope I never run out of these. No. Seymour! The house is on fire! No, Mother, it's just the Northern Lights. Well, Seymour, you are an odd fellow, but I must say, you steam a good ham. Oh, I did see this one. Well, Seymour, I'm from Utica. Ah, Superintendent Chalmers, welcome. I hope you're pooped. At this time... Uh, the Australian one is good. Well, Seymour, I made it, despite your direct...
Well, Seymour, I made it, despite your directions. Ah, Superintendent Chalmers, welcome. I hope you're prepared for an unforgettable luncheon. Oh, God. Did I already click this one? I can't tell if the red bar at the bottom means I watched it or if it's just the red bar and part of the thumbnail. Hang on. What if... It's dead. <laughs> Chroma key. Superintendent Chalmers, welcome. I hope you're prepared for an unforgettable dinner. Yeah. Superintendent, I hope you're ready for mouth-watering hamburgers. Yes. Well, I can't tell if the red bar means I watched it Sir, because the thumbnail is also Lord, red. What is happening in there? Aurora Borealis. Yeah. You steam a good ham. Yes. <laughs> I don't. I don't remember if I saw this. Well, Seymour, I made oh, I think I did. Ah, welcome. Yeah. You're prepared for an unforgettable luncheon. Yeah. Oh, you gods. I don't know how to spell his name. This is pretty good. Well, Harry Bow, I made it. Despite your directions. Oh, the Michael Rosen. Well, come. I hope you'll prepare for an unforgettable luncheon. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he got my rose this ruined. But what if I were to purchase fast food and disguise it as my own cooking? <laughs> Delightfully devilish Harry Bow. Uh. Cheese. <laughs> Michael Rosen, I was just stretching my shoulders on the window so isometric exercise. Care to join in? Why is there smoke coming out of your oven? Harry Bow. Yeah, the whole um, thing is this. Oh, that isn't smoke. It's steam. Steam from the steam clams we're having. Mmm, steam clams. Wonderful. God, that other Persona one, or I'm sorry, Danganronpa oh, one is. I hope you're ready for mouth watering hamburgers. Perfect. I thought we would having steam clams. No, no, I said steam pants. That's what. Skinner, do you ever wonder if there are parallel universes? No. Steam pants, but in a parallel universe where food and humans are reversed. Oh. Oh. I get the idea. Did I see this? Well, Seymour, I made it. More. Uh, oh, that isn't smoke. It's steam. Steam from the steamed clams we're having. Mmm, steamed clams. Superintendent, I hope you're ready for mouth-watering steamed clams. I thought we were having hamburgers. No, no, I said steamed clams. That's what I call steamed clams. You call it steamed clams, steamed hams. No, steamed clams. It's a regional dialect. Uh, uh what region? Uh, upstate New Clams. Really? <laughs> well, I'm from Utica, and I've never heard anyone use the phrase steamed clams. Oh, not in Utica, no, it's an Albany expression. I see. You know, these steamed clams they are quite similar to the ones they have at Krusty Clams. <laughs> oh, 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 no. Patented Skinner Clams. Old family recipe. For steamed clams. Yes. Yes, and you call them steamed clams, despite the fact they are obvious to steamed clams. <coughs> yeah, uh, yes. I did see the yeah. Dragon Ball Z version. Of course. The, the second well, Danganronpa one, though. Good time was had by all. I'm poop. Perfect. Yes, Everything I'm about sure. it. Good lord, what is happening in there? Steamed from the steamed clams. Uh, I see. I see it? No. Seymour! The house is on fire! No, mother, it's just the steamed from the steamed clams. Well, Seymour, you are an odd fellow, but I must say, you steam a good clams. Uh... 
Look, the first Danganronpa... The, the first one was good. This was good. It was a good attempt. It was a good attempt. Really? But... This is so much better. It is like... Mind-bogglingly good. I just watched the four kids at it. Steam from the steam clams we're having. Steam clams. No, no, I said steam. They will. That's what I. They will not get better than this. You call hamburgers steamed ham? Yes, it's an original. God. What region? Uh, state. It's so clever. Well, I'm from Utica, and I've never heard anyone use the phrase steam. No, that's wrong. よし、<笑> Crazy explanations. The superintendent's going to need his medication. When he hears Skinner's lame exaggerations, there'll be trouble in town tonight. I forget you did to me, Miami Mike. Ah, Kemuri Jarimasa. I'm looking. Why is this Twilight? Dang dong. Oh. Uh, well, team more I made it. Oh. Directions. Welcome. I hope you're right back. Oh god. Function. Yeah. Oh my lord. My roof has ruined. But what if I would have purchased ah, food and disguise as my own cooking? Delightfully. <laughs> Devilish. Uh, I don't know why they made this. Um, the reviews are really good, though. I like what they were going for. I guess. Boring. No intended. That was just. Just I'm kinda hoping they'd all be different characters though. Why is it smoke? Yeah, the KK slider one is good. We're having steam clams. Oh no! I said steam clams! That's what God. Uh. Hang on, I'm just gonna send this to one more person. Now that I think about it. They're never gonna get out of my recommended. That's okay. I've never seen Twin Peaks, so this probably isn't going to be funny to me, but I'm I'm into it.
I like what they're going for, <laughs> anyway. You probably don't know the source material. Seymour, I made it, despite your directions. Ah, Superintendent Chalmers, welcome. I hope you're prepared for an unforgettable luncheon. Yeah, turn the voices up, unless that's part of the joke. <laughs> My roast is ruined! Is this accurate? What if... I were to purchase fast food and disguise it as my own cooking. <laughs> Delightfully devilish, Seymour. Uh, Superintendent, I was just uh, stretching my calves on the window sill. Isometric exercise. Here to join me. Why is there smoke coming out of your oven, Seymour? Uh, oh, that's oh. smoke. It's steam. Steam from. Anyway, thanks for showing me the Dong and Rampa one. It was very good. Go back to whatever it is you were talking about before this. Actually, from what I remember about what you were talking about before this, don't actually go back to talking about that. I'm so glad somebody made a better Danganronpa one now. Because I saw how much work went into the Ace Attorney one and thought like, man, if only somebody could be bothered to do that for the Danganronpa one, it could have been way better. And then they did. Bottle showdown part was so good. Please stop dumping. seen Pulp Fiction. Well, just like replace the sword in the rebuttal showdown that says yes with just like the word hope and it's pretty much exactly the same as Danganronpa. Actually, uh, there's another Danganronpa related thing, although you've probably seen it at this point. Um, it's a Twitter account that's called Drill Gunrampa. It takes the tweets from Drill and recontextualizes them into Danganronpa things, which is also pretty good. 
Where's the really good one? Oh yeah, spoilers, I guess. You have been warned. It says it right at the top, there would be spoilers. I'm looking for a specific one though, hang on. I cannot find it. <laughs> Wait, no. Wait, I think it might be this one. <laughs> or... That one. This is the one I'm thinking of. <laughs> I'm just... easily amused. That's the thing. Here's the account if you want it, if you are like aware of these two very specific things, you may enjoy this. If you're not, you probably won't get anything out of it. You don't get it at all. See, you know, that just makes you less of a person in my eyes. I'm sorry to have to tell you that, but it's true. You just, like, don't count to me anymore. Side. Not today. I think they more or less made Draco like the lowest tier in most Puyo games at this point, except for like the second. I think she's the first person you play in the first game. What was the account? It's called Drilkin Rampa. It's exactly how you'd expect it to be spelled. Is she the best in the Switch one? Oh, do you mean, like, best from your anime perspective? Please, I'm only talking about objective measures here.
damn it. Oh, come on. Stop. Ah. Uh. I don't think the... No, the mermaid, I think, is in the first game, too. I don't remember, though. I don't normally pay that much attention. Suck it, frog. Oh god. No.
I don't think that should have gone there. Yeah, whatever, it's fine. Wide hips for birthing moons? What? It's not... It's not where the moon came from. Well, I guess, sort of. In a way. Never mind. Gotta stop reading this chat. came from. Oh wait, I meant to lose. I know, but like the, the the earth didn't give birth to the moon, really. I mean, it, the moon is like the equivalent of like a plant cutting that just regrows in another pot. It's like, good job, you ripped a part off, you stuck it somewhere else, and it's fine. It really, really doesn't.
Aren't babies parasites? Like describing yourself or like all babies? give you it's like a it's like a toolbox you know it's like how you have like an old thing and you use it for parts so that's why you have a baby it's like here's my real baby and here's my parts baby oh my kidney crapped out I need another one I'll just go to my parts baby and borrow one Makes so much sense. See, now you understand why people have kids. But you can't always siphon blood from child. You don't always have the same blood type. I'm trying to think. I don't think... I think I can only give blood to one of my parents, which I guess, thinking about it rationally, that seems pretty common. Because one's positive and one's negative. And I am... hella pause. The most pause. What? Don't say what. Oops, I messed that up. I'm O positive because, of course. Oh, is that an HIV term? I didn't know that. Well, I mean, I. No. No. 
No. No. No. Womp womp. I put it on the hardest difficulty, which is why I lose all the time, because it's just sort of not fair. Much like everything else in life. No, that's that's not it, Blonde Robin. chain there, but I didn't keep it going. Oh, well. What? God damn. Jeez. Yeah, monotone tea is real. You could probably buy it, but I wouldn't recommend it because it's not very good.
do you buy fake wings on the internet? Asking for a friend. Oh, I buy stuff from all over, so it's not really super useful. Amazon, eBay, AliExpress, some other websites. Etsy! I didn't think of that. Don't click that. I'm going to. This is fine. What's wrong? It's not like porn. Uh, yeah, but they're not Draco wings, they're just wings. Wow, 66 pages. kind of weird that, like, people just don't wear wings to work or something. Like, why not? When do we dictate that all of our clothing just has to be, like, incredibly boring? serve? I don't know, what purpose does a tie serve? Make getting through doors difficult? Well, change them. Make the wings... door... Make the door wing... size... I don't wear the sonic legs to the lap. That's primarily just because my legs aren't that nice, and also I still have a little bit of self-respect left. Just slightly. Yeah, like, why do we have belts? Like, what's the point? Yeah, okay, sure, you know, they hold your pants up, whatever. But, like, when have you ever had an issue of your pants falling down? And if that's the case, just get new pants that don't do that. Yeah, I know, but if you lose so much weight that your pants need a belt to fit, then they're probably not, like, cut for your smaller butt, your bigger butt, or adjusted butt. You shouldn't be wearing them anyway. You're skinny and the smallest size is too small. Oh, wow, look at you. Belts are necessary from some cuts. Yeah, well, why don't we just get rid of those? Just make them that they don't need that. Don't cut your pants in a way that they need a belt. Just make them normal. Why don't we all just have, like, elastic pants? <laughs> like, what's the point of not doing that? Yeah. 
Yeah, what about my fashion recommendations? They are absolute. It's not about individuality. Pants aren't individual. Everyone wears pants. I want a world where it's like Bot and Kaidos and everybody has wings. And also, no pants. You make this seem like it's a weird request. It's not. The only thing weird here is your resistance to it. Which I think is quite narrow-minded, actually. Do you not actually have any pictures of me ever wearing pants? Now that you bring it up, I'm not actually sure. No, you have to. Somewhere, probably. Hey, I already played that psychoanalysis record. Yesterday, I'm cured. I don't want to kill myself anymore. Wait, no, that's not... It's not the case. Do the Sonic leggings count as pants? I... no. They're different. Leggings are not a sandwich. We've been over this. harder than it needs to be. Just let me win. You're a computer. You don't get anything out of winning. <sighs> don't put it there. You put it there. Damn it. hard time sleeping. Are there pants on this? Are there? Oh yeah, there are. Man, my hair was bad back then. It's slightly better now. Those, I think those were shorts actually. I'm 99% sure they are. Oh, I'll click that later soon. Sorry, I missed it.
was my old bad hair before it was actually, like, in the shape of anything. Now I just carve my credit card number into it so I don't forget. And just walk around with the mirror. It's way more convenient than having a credit card. Let me tell you. Damn it! that image not a joke? That's my wind. Whoever heard it assured it. Ushered it. There you go. I don't know what it is, and it's probably not actually due to any sort of physiological difference, but it always feels like like guy long hair is a totally different, I don't know, consistency than girl long hair. It's like it's, I don't know, frizzier? I don't know how to explain it. Probably just either like, I don't know, differences in styling or something. Maybe it's just more unkempt on the whole, I don't know how to put it. Maybe they take better care of it than I do. Hey, I'm very careful with it. I'll have you know. Oh. 
<sighs> I mean, there's no reason for it to be different. Been using feminine hair care products for 15 years. Ew, that's for girls. It's gross. You have to use, like, the man shampoo that has, like, a thunderbolt and, like, a trucker eating bacon on it or something. It's got, like, bourbon extracts or something. It's not even a good pun. Yeah, I have some trace on me or something or other. It has biotin in it, which doesn't really matter to me, but for some reason it ends up smelling a lot better than any of the other variations of it I've used, and it smells that way throughout the whole day, and it's like, yeah, this is all right. I think I just ran out of that. I think I have the silky smooth one as well. I think I also, like at one point I was just not sure if there's a difference, so I just bought like a whole bunch. And there's one that's like flawless curls or something. I don't know what's in it. It's probably the same thing. I bought that. It's probably gonna be exactly the same. You don't want flawed curls, you know? That would be bad. Your friends only probably said that you smell good because you probably just finished drinking a whole container of soy sauce before you went and visited them. I've seen these. Brazilian keratin. It has micro property. What does this even mean? What? 
micro properties. I have micro properties. That's why I never play the real estate game. Buy more shampoo right now, but I'll keep an eye out next time. I didn't make that remix, somebody else did. No, you don't. Can't use salt so your hair breaks. Try glue. in this chat just have like a naturally thick hair Stress balding and not regular. Oh, oh. How do you know it's stress balding and not regular balding? From a big bowl of testosterone. Oh, come on. Oh, god damn it, dude. How am I gonna. Ugh. Uh. respectable job and just look like a bum who cares yeah post your face online that's the worst that could happen I mean 
mean, I'll probably, like, mock you incessantly, but... Once you have years of therapy to get over that, I'm sure you'll be fine. You're gonna post your picture and everyone's gonna say, Oh, you look like a dude. That's kinda it. It's like, oh, okay. That's it. Oh god! <sighs> when you were younger, you asked your barber to make your hair look like Pegasus from Yukio. Did you show him a picture? Did you like, bring that in? That'd be really good. Did you, like, ask him in the Pegasus voice? You know, like, all, Oh, cut my hair like this, Yugi boy! And something like that. Because that would be... the best haircut... ever? I, I can't think of a way to improve that. Ah, oh, I messed it up. A pot of greed allows me to cut two more hairs. Nobody misses having a rat tail. Like, even in the name, it just sounds unappealing. God damn it. What is wrong with you? It's not like fluffy bunny tail or something. It's like, no. I wasn't bullying you for your looks, I was bullying you for your smell. It's different. That's how legs work. It's not that hard.
again. I'm very self-conscious about my toes, yes. It's like that one section of the Amanda show, where like the dad has his toe cut off and he replaces it with a piece of hot dog and he keeps falling over and it's all very funny. They look like creepy alien figure fingers. self-conscious about the things I'm not self-conscious about? Is that a sentence? I'm trying to think of part, or er, trying to think of a part of me that it's like, yeah, this will stand up to intense scrutiny. I don't think there is one. Oh well. Ah, whatever. Ah, oh, I forgot the blue. left inner eyelid. Now that one's kind of weird. My right one's okay. You should get bullied because you have buck teeth. Maybe your teeth will like get the picture and you know. Finally close the gap. braces. So maybe they should have just made fun of you more. Because this seems like a problem you could solve via social conditioning. Oh, is he yelling yippee? I don't really know what he's saying. I'm not paying attention. Every time I hear the word prostate, I just think of, like, race cars. I'm not sure why. Maybe I'm thinking of, like, interstate. For some reason, I thought that was a lot more normal until I said it, and then it's like, wait. It's not. Like, I don't know, it sounds like a racing company. Like Prostate Motors or something. You know, you have like... Interstate. <laughs> it's the only word I can think of, but I swear it sounds like it's... More automotive than that. And it has like Pro in it. 
I'm not thinking of an asteroid. It's not like the pro state league, it's just, like, I don't know. It's like the prostate. I'm trying to think, it, it just sounds like a racetrack. Like, I'm, uh, the problem is I'm trying to think of, like, a specific thing that comes to mind with it, and it, I can't think of, like, a specific, you know, like, object or place or something. It's just, like, racing. That's it. There's no more detail attached to it other than that. There has to be more other words related to racing that have the word state in them. Now I'm going to do a Google search for prostate race car and I'm going to regret doing this. Prostate make me think of racing. Racing for prostate cancer awareness. How tiny beads shrink the prostate. That's not what I want. Prostate tracker. Do you know where your prostate is? Oh, that's just the penis. And then that's a picture of Mitt Romney. <laughs> I don't know what that's doing there. problem with like things that are weird about me. It's like I don't realize they're weird until somebody calls them out and then it's like, oh god. Yeah, I guess I didn't think of that. Quaker State Oil. Is that the logo I'm thinking of? That might have actually explained it. They have a different logo that wasn't just a giant Q. Now I'm thinking of Pennzoil. Never mind. I... Prostate oil. <laughs> I mean, I could search that, but I'm sure it's not a good idea. Telling you though, it isn't weird. It's a normal thing to think. No. 
You don't get where my thought process was at. You don't understand me at all. You never understood me. Where am I pressed it? I think your face is a second-rate nation. Discuss. Maybe it's all state, that's what I'm thinking of, because that's a car thing. I don't know. It just sounds like a racetrack, like the Prostate 300 or something. State Farm. Prostate Farm. Wait, no. That's not good. Let's go milk some cows on the Prostate Farm. <laughs> oh. Never mind. It's getting too, uh... Pushing the envelope. Oops. <laughs> Pushing the prostate envelope. No, see, that's not why it made me think of race cars, though. Do you think libertarians are really into prostate rights? States rights? Pro prostates rights? You, you know that what I'm trying to get at. It's a joke. Oh crap. I guess I deserve to die for that. Prostates of matter. Mine's currently a plasma. Wait, that's the fourth one. Never mind. Probably nothing. I don't know. I don't even know what it's supposed to do. It's that it goes bad at some point. Just gotta remove like your wisdom teeth. 
It's like, oh, there's not enough space for the prostate in here. I need it taken out. It's just like an evolutionary leftover. Is that one of the organs that you could replace with, like, a the pig part? You know, like a pig's heart or something? You got, like, a pig's breast. I gotta stop. I'm done. Tony Hawk Prostator. Ah, <laughs> uh, does not work when read aloud, but I appreciate the attempt. A prostator dots. No. Oh. I don't know where this association came from though, because even when I think about it now, like after you've finished making fun of me, I still like immediately think, oh, race cars instead of butts, which I mean, I don't know. Whatever. Am I liking the Switch? Uh, it doesn't take up a lot of shell or a lot of uh, shelf space, which is nice because it sits around a lot later than Wilster. Again. 
Damn it. 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 Yeah, is he gonna play? It seems okay. I never played the other ones. Streaming therapeutic? Yeah, it distracts myself from wanting to die. I guess. So that's a thing. still works. That's convenient. It's like death with no effort. Yeah, I know, but it doesn't last. <sighs> Sleeping is just virtual reality death.
purchase anesthesia and you'll be sleeping for a while. Yeah, but you can't. Most of them are controlled substances. And then if you buy them, they just get seized by customers, so don't even bother. fell off. You should get that checked out. You're <laughs> shredding in my prostate. Oh. What if they named St. Patrick's Day to St. Prostate's Day? Just, just what if, just hypothetically. Oh, I messed this up. find a same prostate. Would they? Can't they just, like, make one up? It's mythical Saint Prostate. You know, like, we have Christmas. That's a whole holiday devote- oh, wait. <laughs> I was gonna say, that's a whole holiday devoted to a guy that doesn't exist. Santa Claus, and then I realized, like, no wait, that's not... That's not why they made Christmas. It wasn't even supposed to be an edgy joke, I just wasn't thinking. I wasn't thinking of the true meaning of Christmas.
you die, can you donate your prostate? I'm just curious. I'm prostate donor. I just have that written on my driver's license and it's just a large picture of a butthole. the DMV all just snicker at me. Nah, I don't really watch any HDQ. I usually don't. that many streams to begin with. And usually if I pop into anything, it's like, oh, I'm going to pop in here and chat, and people will listen. We can interact and have a conversation. But with something that's like the scale of HEDQ, that's not really possible. But I wish them all the best. played near automata yet so I don't want to watch the steam dams near automata I'm not gonna get it weekend. Uh, I don't know. I don't really feel like streaming it right now. It's gonna make me feel bad about my own butt. Ever actually going to stream Skate 3. Oh yeah, I forgot you sent me that. Um, I have the PS3 here. That's all right, I've sort of been in like a gigantic brain fog recently, so... I haven't really been thinking about things to stream. Mostly just like, ugh. 
I would just snap into autopilot as soon as possible. Play the first two hours of Prey on Steam, and if you like it, then buy it or not refund it. I don't know. Wasn't Prey a game already, like years ago? What's the game with the cover of the guy with, like, the cover of the guy? The guy. the game with the cover of the guy who had like the face mask on and there was a big crack in it and he was yelling. That's Haze, isn't it? Starts with a D. I'm pretty sure... It's just called Haze. You're not- no, I- you are thinking of a totally different game than what I'm thinking. You stupid, foolish moron. God. You're so wrong. Right now. You sicken me with how much you're wrong. Is this the cover? Yeah, that's the one I'm thinking of. Jeff hated it. Yeah, but Jeff hates a lot of things. He still thinks Sonic 3 and Knuckles is the worst. Jeff probably hates Majora's Mask. Jeff hates everything except, like, bootleg energy drinks. I swear, Jeff Gersman would make, like, the perfect undercover cop because he is, like, so many levels of sleaze, but it's all very above board. It's like he just knows about, like, the underside of society from various life experiences, but he doesn't really actively partake in any of them. He would be great as an undercover cop. He'd speak the lingo, he'd know everything. They would never think he is anything other than a hard-boiled criminal. Jeff Gersman, GZX is who I'm talking about. should play Majora's Mask. It's the best one. I never finished Ocarina of Time. Wow, how's it feel being subhuman? I do like Ocarina of Time, just not as much as Majora's Mask.
I only played the Metroid Prime Hunters demo and wore the Zero Suit, and that's all I know about Metroid. Oh wait, I meant to lose this. You never felt in control of your character, which is why I didn't like it. Well, I don't feel like I'm in control of my life, so that's why Zelda clicks so well. Also, my life only runs at 20 frames per second. No, you don't. in my heart. It seems like a serious medical condition. I should probably get checked out at some point, though. Sonic Spinball is bad. God damn it. Nope. On principle, all video games are bad. Debate me. You can't. Are they art, or are they 
Bart. A thesis by Monotontin. If you want a 4D Zelda game, just play Majora's Mask. Breath of the Wild is good. Mostly. Excuse me. You just need to recapture your childlike sense of wonder again. Wander around not knowing where anything is and thinking, that's okay. I don't have to go anywhere. <laughs> you just wear this Gerudo outfit, eat a thousand carrots, and just be happy. sense never comes back for you. Wow, how's it like being dead inside? God. Stop dumping crap on me. Everywhere. No. It's not, it's not good enough, Cheesy X. Sorry, it's... Gonna have to have someone pry your eyes open. Make you play this game, Clockwork Orange style, until you like it. There are no other options. You might think there are, but there aren't. This is the way video games are meant to be enjoyed. If you're playing it, we'll play it better. I'm gonna go get the eyeball, like, clamps. If you keep coming at me with these wrong opinions. No, you won't be bad at video games if you want. It's just not an option. We have door number one and door number B. And you're all like, I'm gonna go into door number XVII, but you can't. 
But no one said you're allowed to. That says employees only. It's the secret bathroom we don't tell the customers about. But it doesn't matter. You can't go in there. My political platform is just to make euthanasia illegal, and then I can really care less what you do. We'll test it out on myself. And you can have like a mulligan election. Submit to execution by Puyo. Nah, there are better ways to do that. some places. <sighs> but you have to get multiple doctors to sign off on it. And it's hard to have it approved if it's just mental suffering. We're probably thinking of the same documentary. Odyssey DLC as of like today or yesterday or tomorrow or sometime I don't care whatever it's all pointless I don't even remember Mario Odyssey. Like, I played it. It happened. Nothing about it really sticks out especially well. I mean, I liked it. It was fine. Yeah, I never got around to playing a hat in time. One of these days, but... I don't... I didn't like the movement that much. I never felt like I was jumping high enough. I mean, eventually, you know, the different options you have, like the ground pound that immediately jump thing and whatever, was nice, but... There's something about how it felt, especially at first, for like the first... dozen or two hours, where I just never felt like I was jumping high enough, or... the, uh... like, somersault side jump, like when you run, change directions, a jump and you go high. Never felt like it was precise enough. So I sort of stopped doing that and just using like the pound instead. Used to be in favor of legal assisted suicide and then somebody brought up the point that it would put pressure on sick, poor people to kill themselves so they won't burden their families. Yes and no. Because nothing's really stopping them now. Aside from the difficulty. Quote unquote difficulty. Like that's a 
good argument to make against, you know, selling organs, because you will have poor people sell their organs as a source of income, but I'm not sure how much it applies to euthanasia. God damn it. It's not new content, sorry. I didn't really read anything into it. I just heard there was an update. Also, why does this apartment feel like, hotter than usual? I'm glad we shifted gears for the conversation to be something happier. I appreciate it. <laughs> Nothing, I'm joking. I'm joking. Go talk about dying. I mean, it's only the suicide prevention group because I couldn't find one that's like, I'm going to kill myself today group. Is that making a liar? No, it isn't. It's only 4 a.m. Got plenty of time. Oh, God damn it. I don't know if SSRIs have an exceptionally low rate of success. It depends how you define success. If you have like a threshold and improvement in HAMD scores or something. But you get at least some partial remission with about 50% of the people, which isn't like great, but it's not the worst. This is better than nothing. Oh, Ham D, it's the Hamilton Depression test. I forget if that's the self administered one. That might be the depre or the Beck Depression inventory, which is 
Whatever. Got a question, but it's gonna be controversial. Oh boy. SSRIs have less efficacy than exercise and clinical trials. Um, depends the trial that you're looking at, because there's been a lot of replication issues with things like this. That being said, if you look at something like the STAR-D trials, which is like a massive meta-analysis, although it's a little bit old at this point, it uh, shows that there is... Sorry, I'm trying to put this here. Um, a place for SSRIs. And all of that. necessarily better than like Uproprion or whatever in aggregate. Really, the differences you have in SSRI efficacy and SNRI and NDRIs, whatever. Monoamine based antidepressants. So they're all pretty much the same. I mean, yeah, a few percent. You know, it's like, yes, we've improved beyond Paxil, but is it a major difference? Not really. So I really wouldn't worry too much about getting, like, the best one, because there really isn't a best one, unless you're just gonna take ketamine. If you've tried a bunch of antidepressants and you haven't found that they work, look up on clinicaltrials.gov if you have a ketamine trial near you and see if you could participate in it. Because while it has somewhat mixed results for people with, like, regular whatever depression, uh, people who are treatment resistant have used at least, I believe the current definition for that is, like, two, you know, rounds of antidepressants. I forget if it's either from the same class or different classes or whatever. For a period of time, would qualify you for that. Because treatment-resistant depression is a different thing than bipolar 2. Um, that being said, you know, it's psychology. It's not like we're going to give you this, you know, blood test and come back and say, yep, this is what's wrong with your brain. So, you know, yeah, there's wiggle room, 
what do you define as depressive malaise versus hypomania? You know, self-reported things. But it's thought that at least there's different areas that are dysregulated between bipolar and major depression. Also, I don't think I have bipolar. Trust me, I thought about it, but like... It doesn't really go up, <laughs> for the most part. It just sort of goes down, or levels off at like, yeah, I guess this is... whatever. I haven't tried ketamine. None of the ketamine studies near me ever replied to my emails. I sent an email to the people who were doing the psilocybin study at Hopkins, but I think it'd be interesting to try, but like, I would have to take so much time off of work to do it that it's probably not gonna happen. just sort of like, I don't know, for me it's just not terrible to like, wow, everything is awful constantly, and me, but I don't think that counts quite the same. That being said, for people with treatment-resistant depression, sometimes you get them prescribed lithium as well, in addition to whatever else they're taking. Um, which is a mood-stabilizing compound used in bipolar treatment, so, you know, again, there's not, like, specific borders for where one thing ends and another begins. It's all sort of hazy, and it's kind of the same with medication, which is why you have things that are used for multiple purposes for different, uh, psychological conditions and it's just a lot of like we really don't understand the mechanisms behind a lot of this that well oh congrats cheesy Has the depression gotten worse for me since I started grad school? Like, probably. It's not specifically all related to this, though. There's other stuff going on at the same time that... I'll probably get into one day. Not right now.
Damn it. Need a green. Thanks. No, stop that. Ah, hell. Thinking the exact same thing. How many stores do I have to go to? I was thinking like five or six, but if I can just go to one, that'd be great. today. Oh, 
Uh, I mean, if the depression chat works for you. I've heard people say that it's kind of like... Not... Productive toward having people seek treatment, but... It's just like a venting pit, I don't know. Sometimes that's what you need. Play Carbuncle? Did I just win? One credit. Master mode difficulty. do hard to get the ultimate challenge. Lame. No. Uh, oh. Ew, five chain. Ew, four chain. That's even worse. Did I just get alternate 5 and 4 chain? Oh, that one. Ew, I thought I got better than 5. Haha! No continues. Not even ten minutes. on the screen. They're cute. The big baby Korok man moves around. He's outside of the village with Impa. No, not Impa. Yes, Impa. And then he goes to the forest. Would I go on a date with Arl? Dude, she's 12. Or 8. Something. a map marker. He might, I don't remember to be honest. He eventually sits around in um, the Korok forest, but if you're not there, it, uh, I don't know <sighs> where he is. Giving them three Korok seeds. <sighs> That's it. Ah. 
I guess I could try to do it in hard mode. <sighs> PS1 came out in 94? Japan, I think. screaming 1995 but I'm pretty sure it was slightly earlier Those are all great character portraits. Ah, oh, the art in this game is really nice. For a puzzle game. Where was it outside? Oh, 45. I mean, I don't dislike Puyo Sun, I just didn't like the sun mechanic, but it's just different. It's like a different Puyo version that I don't hate. Oh. 
Oh, I prefer his son. I think two is probably just the best in terms of just stock gameplay, but Sun is probably the nicest experience. I like how the characters look in this a lot more than I like how they look in Fever. This has still got like the uh, 90s anime look, which is okay. The music sounds weird in this one because it's the arcade version and the sound synth hardware is different. I think for the... I forget how the N64 one sounds, but the Saturn and PlayStation and PC all use streaming audio and it sounds the same, just slightly better. And also the voices in-game were re-recorded from the arcade and they sound better on the consoles and also also the interstitial cutscene bits are fully voiced. But there are no loading times on the arcade version, which is why I play that one. Much about it. All right, bye.